What's going on everybody? As you can see, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, drinking my Olympus Labs Rain pre-workout. If you guys don't know, this is the best pre-workout on the market, honestly. Um, so check it out, I'll leave a link uh, in the description below so you guys can look at it. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about my favorite time of the month. And that's because we are unboxing my tack pack. So, so far out of all the subscription boxes I've gotten, Tack Pack is by far my favorite because of the price um, to value ratio. Um, the box is only 49 bucks a month, but every month is over $100. So they're working really hard to break the $200 mark, um, but I guess they've had a couple of setbacks. But so this month I believe is worth 150 or something. I'm not sure exactly, but the card will show us. So um, and then after we do the unboxing, um, I just wanted to quickly go over what I did with my AR, you may be able to see it in the background here, but um, I finally got all the parts installed minus one um, from the parts I got from Tag Pack. So I'll show you guys that real quick too. So um, without further ado, let me take a sip and we'll get into this. Oh, so good, so good. Honestly, you guys, it's the greatest, I'm telling you. Anyway, so I know from experience to open the box upside down. And I can't cut a straight line. There we go. So I will eventually start using a different knife, but this is so far my favorite. And here we go. So I already see something that I have, which is kind of odd. All right, let's see. So it says, stay toasty in February, tack pack. We're bringing you all the hits with big brands and stellar items, some EDC, some apparel, some AR-15 accessories. So um, like every month, you get a card in the box, but um, we'll try to go one by one through each item and then um, the description and the price and then kind of my thoughts on the item. So right off of the bat, um, right off the bat, I can see an item I've gotten in the past, which is my Tech Pack beanie. Um, it's cool though because uh, my wife likes the beanie, so now she has one. So now we have uh, matching tack pack beanies. There we go. So there's a logo on the front right there. So I'll set this down. It says on the card, I'll just briefly, really quick read it. It says tack pack beanie, 25 bucks. Um, we had these bad boys in our limited edition Christmas pack. Oh, that's right. So if you didn't get the Christmas box, you didn't get the beanie initially. So I did order the Christmas pack and I got I got the beanie in that. So. It says, and the demand was so great that we had to put it in a monthly box. Perfect for this cooler than normal winter. Thank global warming. Couple this with the nine line hoodie and you're ready for cold weather range day. So um, this honestly is a really nice beanie. I, I did wear it several times, you know, outside of the video I made. So I can tell you it's, it's comfortable. It's nice. It's a little um, bright. The yellow stands out very much, but you know, it, it's still cool. All right, so I already see a couple of things in here that I'm pretty excited about, but let's go Let's go down the line. It says, oh, nine line hoodie. I'm guessing that's this. Sweet. So I have one other shirt by nine line and that's the shirt they sent in the last box. So this is a hoodie. It says, looking for that perfect combination of, looking for that perfect combination of your favorite soft shirt and lightweight hoodie. Look no further, nine lines. Newest edition, the Reflect hoodie shirt. We love Nine Line, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so basically it's a t-shirt with a hoodie on it. This thing is pretty dope, actually. You know what? I think I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on. I know I was wearing my Olympus Labs shirt, you know, the supplements I take. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below with my code, but I'm gonna put this on real quick. So give me a quick sec. Nice. All right. Well, time lapse, right? So anyway, this is nice. This this is really actually quite soft. The hood is very comfortable. I'm actually super excited about this shirt. I mean, it's a forty-two dollar. It says forty-two ninety-nine for the value of the shirt. Um, I'll take the hood off so you guys can see my face. 
but it's really soft. It fits me perfect. The length is great. Um, this is nice. My wife is super jealous right now. I could see her face. She's behind the camera. So, um, uh, very happy about this already. This box has been a great box. Um, so, moving on, now that I got my nine line apparel shirt on. Uh, the next item in the box is the LexPro LP1035 Focus LED 420 lumen flashlight, 30 bucks. So I'm guessing that's this which is actually really nice. This is cool. You know what, it's, I love flashlights, honestly. Um, I like EDC flashlights, but I like flashlights, period. I'm a big fan of flashlights. So I don't know this brand particularly. They're saying it's uh, 30 bucks, um, but I tell you it's heavy and it's most, mostly metal and a lot of rubber and very bright. Holy moly, this thing is, 420 lumens. So uh, it says three modes, uh, high, low, and strobe. You can focus the beam. You know what? Let me open this. How do I go about opening this? Not breaking it. Trying to open it without destroying everything. All right, there we go. Wow, this is actually really, fun. this is really nice. Uh, what did they say it was? 30 bucks? I believe that. Holy moly, look at that. You know, this reminds me of those, those kind of cheapo depot, uh, the cheap flashlights you get from like Wish and the one we got in the, the battle box. That one is actually pretty decent, but they have the adjustable um, spotlight here. Um, I'll put it behind me. Let's see. Can you see behind me? How about there? Yeah. yeah. Right there? You see it? So if you, can you see that? So you can adjust the beam like that. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, the flashlight is all metal or aluminum rather, and it has like nice rubber all over like rubber grip. This is actually really nice. Really, really nice. And it has a cool little lanyard. I mean, this is actually surprisingly um, useful. When you have this in your pocket and you're trying to grab it, having the lanyard just halfway out of your pocket so you can pull it out makes it so much easier. Um, we walk the dogs a lot at night. We go hiking, we go camping, that kind of thing. And this will definitely come in handy. And then, like I said, there's three modes. How do you adjust the modes? Let me look, let me find out, let's see. Press and release button, hidden strobe, will light on, press the button, hold, press button, 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, so now you got your strobe. Can we turn it off like that? Yep, and we can turn it off like that. So on and off, cycle modes, press and release button. So every time you, on and off, it cycles between high, medium, and low. Um, this is uh, this is awesome. This is actually, I have two other really high-end flashlights. I don't know if this is considered high-end, but it feels high-end. Um, but I have two high-end flashlights I paid way over $100 for that I have in both my um, bags. So those will stay in the bag, and now I have a nice little flashlight to use on my EDC, everyday carry, or, I mean, it's big for everyday carry, but you know what I mean, carry it around with me. All right, moving on. So, uh, $30 for the flashlight it says the next item is the Kershaw Injection 3.0. All right, I like Kershaw blades when they're real Kershaw blades. Sometimes you get them, they're from China, and they're not real. So this I'm sure is real since Tech Pack, they're legit. So it says the Injected 3.0 is designed to become your new favorite blade with a nifty G10 handle, manual opening blade is outstanding. This knife is very strong. We'll beat the shit out of it. Oh, we beat the shit out of it. So it's a tough blade. All right, let's see what kind of steel it is. Kind of get an idea of how we have to, I mean, it's heavy. Actually, it's not heavy. There's just a lot of paper in here. It's actually small. This is really cool. So check this out. It's a nice little EDC knife. You know, the knife I just got in my battle box, I was gonna use for my EDC uh, to replace my um, Karambit for a little while. 
but this might be my new go-to EDC knife. This is cool. So basic, it's a basic knife. This, this, the handle's really nice. Um, you can reverse the, the belt clip. It says made in China. But you know, I think a lot of their stuff is made in China. Um, it's not super smooth to open up, but it, it's nice. It's kind of hard to close, it's like stiff. I'm wondering if maybe I'll just oil it up. I don't think there's, I don't think there's bearings in there. It feels a little stiff, but um, it's nice and small. I mean, I can hide it in one hand, um, but it's not too small where you can't open it if you need to, which is nice. Cause I've had, I have a couple other knives that are um, like 511, the 511 knife I have is so small. It's really hard for me to open. I mean, this thing is pretty light. The blade feels pretty light. I don't know about beating the shit out of it. The blade doesn't seem super sturdy, to be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna use it as a screwdriver, but, or a pry bar or anything like that. Um, but for a, a nice little EDC knife, it's uh, a little good, good little knife. So they're saying this is $54.99. So, um, that's not bad, 50, 55 bucks. I mean, I spent a lot more than that on knives before, I'll tell you that much. Um, but if I don't use this knife, my wife might end up using it because it's like perfect size for her. I mean, I like my knives to be a little bit bigger handle, but you know, if, like for days where I'm wearing like sweats, like right now, this would be good. It's not too heavy. I mean, it's got a good weight to it, but it's not super heavy. Um, and you know, it's just something nice and little you can carry with you if you have to go out. Um, anyway, I would say overall, this month's tack pack is actually one of my favorites. I mean, Honestly, this shirt, this is nice. I'll tell you what, this is really nice. I might actually wear this to the gym. Um, the beanie, I already have one of those. They're nice, I can tell you from experience. The flashlight was definitely needed. Um, we're getting some kind of crappy weather now, so you never know. You always need flashlights for all kinds of stuff. You know, when we're out walking the dogs or, you know, someone breaks in the house and you got to shoot them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, seriously, the flashlights are very important, especially in emergencies. Um, the EDC knife, the Kershaw, this is this is actually, the more of opening it, the better, it, the easier it is to open. I mean, it's it's pretty fast, so. Um, I might carry this around for a little while, let you guys know how it goes. But the last thing on the card says March Hype, which is great because March is my birthday. It says, super awesome American-made gun stuff, plus some really cool items you won't be able to put down. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, like I was saying, they hyped up, I think it was last month's box was supposed to be 205 bucks, and then they couldn't do it because some items were pushed, I don't know. Um, they're working hard to get that box out, I think. Um, but honestly, they're 50 bucks. I don't know why some people are complaining about these boxes. I've seen people online complain about the boxes. Oh, I don't like a bean, I don't want a bean, I don't want a shirt, blah, blah, blah. You're paying 50 bucks for the box. That's how much the one knife costs, according to this. I mean, I would pay 50 bucks for a knife and a flashlight, I'm happy. And then you get a free beanie and a t-shirt too. Stop complaining. Stop being little bitches. For real, come on. Anyway, so that's my video. That's my unboxing. Uh, like I said earlier, I wanna quickly go over my AR. So, in the past couple boxes, I signed up back in November, I think was the first box I got. And they sent me a couple items along with the end plate, the QD end plate. So I was finally able to install the end plate, which allowed me to use my sling, the War Machine sling we got in the last box. And I also installed, I also installed my charging handle that we received in the Christmas pack. So the gun's clear, I already checked it, it's empty, I know it's clear. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on is my uh, foregrip, the foregrip we got in the last box. Uh, I don't have any rails. I'm, I'm ordering a Magpul system so that way I can just easy. I'm not a huge fan of Magpul, but I'll just throw the rails on there so I can have the angled foregrip because I'm going to be going out to the range with my cousins in the next, hopefully, couple weeks. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I want it to be ready to go and tip top shape. Um, so like I said in the last couple videos, I'm slowly building this thing up. I bought it very basic, 400 bucks. It was a great deal, but it had nothing on it. So thanks to Tac Pack. I have some cool little items and a much needed sling. So um, once I get the front rail put on, I'll put another QD adapter on the front so that way I can have a two point sling instead of just a one point sling. 
and I'll install the foregrip. And I'll show you guys in the next video. I'll show you guys next month when I get the next tack pack. So um, keep a lookout for that. But um, aside from that, thanks for stopping by to watch my video. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you can't tell, I'm way more excited about tack pack than I am about battle box. I like battle box, but for the price, I feel like you get cooler shit in the tack pack. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But, um, you know, keep a lookout for my other videos. Um, you know, I might do a couple review videos of some of the pre-workout stuff. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the supplements that Olympus Labs carries, let me know. Um, but like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks, guys.